Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this dope VHS effect with all those like reverses going on. So to create this effect, we'll be using a brand new plugin called VHS Cam, which allows you to add these kind of VHS in just few clicks. It looks so realistic and it's by Fred Pele. He's a literal good at making like plugins and stuff. He actually made like MXM as well. So you can check him out and if you want to download his plugin down below, the VHS scam and all of the others. I'll link it in the description and you can actually use the code ASIM to get $5 off of it. But in After Effects, you can see I have this clip from Netsman video pulled up. We're gonna create the VHS effect right here. So, and this is right here. It is the plugin as you can see. So, we're gonna use this. If you don't see it, you just go to Window, Extensions, and just like VHS scam right here. And you can just pull it out right here. But, anyways, you can see the here you can select your composition. For me, it's nothing like you so i'm gonna select this if you don't see it you just gotta reload and hit launch and then there easily it will take you into this new panel right here with your vhs cam applied in the composition throughout the composition looks really cool as you can see damn it also has like those displays and those glitches that we want which are really dope but we're gonna go through all of these options and show you what all of those does so firstly what i like is changing like the camera so you can change the camera according to your liking you can use broadcast too and it will also show it on 3d which is really cool as you can see it is spinning around it is like the gts and andreas animation like the spinning around object if you like kill anyone it will give you like their weapons and stuff as you can see it is kind of similar looks really cool you just gotta switch through until you get something that you like but all of these are totally insane as you can see i really love this one because it has those like signal kind of look you can see if you don't know you get this like color bending signal type of look if you have a plugin called signal it allows you to do that but this plugin also has it which is really dope you can also switch through many more but one i like is point and shoot it looks really realistic and as you can see it is like a pretty simple one but i really love this one you could go through other as well i really love this one as i said but let's just use camcorder too to be honest then right below it we have glitches and overlays so firstly let's just go over to glitches and in here you can control your glitches like your displacement that was happening so you can go through and see what works the best for you i really love five right here and six is also really like really glitchy one this is and right below that you will get the noise control so you can control the noise but the really cool part is there's an option called displace but i like to switch this to luma and that easily you can see your glitches like happening right onto your footage on the top of it really like really looks cool right there as you can see the glitch was happening but i like to switch it to this place for sure because it looks a bit cleaner for me maybe just let's just go with the five and you can enable the rewind i will show you how to create the rewind transition effect in a bit but you can also enable it right here it looks really cool right here as you can see it will also help us to like blend it to the rewind transition that i was talking about uh you can play with the timing but i guess we are dope here so let's just back out now we can switch through the overlays on top so these are the overlays that you can see so you can switch through and find something that you like but i like to go with five you can really go through and see what works the best for you i really like nine as well so let's just use this one another important feature is source so if i go into source now in source you will get this interlist option right here which is really cool it allows you to like add those like those like delays like delay frame i can call you can see it on these like corners if that makes sense but anyways you can go to expect ratio now and change it to 21 by 9 i really love this without the borders and it is like pretty stretch actually i really love this one and you can play with the exposure which is really cool play with the gamma and stuff so all that good stuff to get the effect that you want i really love all of these like it looks so cool Pele actually killed it on this one as well I loved MXM, I loved Lofi, I loved Rollback, and this is also a banger. I also loved like Spectrum. Those are the plugin I tried and I really love those. And this is also insane of a banger. Uh, then you can play with all of those brights and stuff to get different looks. You can also play with the chroma, which is really cool. You can see you can get like really saturated effect if you play with chroma 
and you can lower down the color as well so you can bring up the chroma and lower down the color to get like a bit of like different look on it the possibilities are endless with this plugin as you might already know but i think i'm gonna back out of this as well we have mosaic in here which adds like those pixelation and then we have these like static guess that's how you say it but it adds these like points like this like points distortions looks really cool and a flicker self-explanatory and a little yc then i guess we are done and i guess we are done with like the vhs kind of look that we want so i'm gonna hit confirm right here and it will bake all the effect into one you can just play through let it render for a second for it. and now we can see that easily we have the crazy we are just going on so to spice it up more we'll be adding those reverse as i showed you in the beginning so for that what i like to do is first like render out this file right here so at render queue and then just like render this out real quick to get like different plates so we can like transition through so firstly we're gonna render this out and this will be like a clean plate with only like vhs scan in it but in another one we'll have the reverse create the vhs scan as i showed we're gonna duplicate this comp right here the original comp this right here and it will turn into two so finally in here we're gonna reload and select this comp right here this time so you can see we are completely on a new comp but we're gonna go with the preset that we use so i guess we used i guess we use vhs camcorder too so we're gonna use this as well then just go to source and do the same settings in here bring up the chroma bring this down bring up the shadows a little bring down the gamma bring up the exposure and just stretch it so something like this you can just repeat the stuff that we did right there to get a pretty similar effect in here as well go back and go with glitches but here we're gonna make sure we select glitch 4 right now so glitch 4 right here now glitch 2 oh actually it's glitch 2 right here and in this place just set it to luma so we have those actual line right there and make sure to select this right rewind option right here to get the rewind like displacement and just enable timing and just go back then in overlay we just gonna set the overlay that we use which is 9 reverse effect going on it we only have the lines we don't have the actual reverse so to create that go into your like your clean plate which is the main comp these two comps are linked by the way if you are wondering the this is linked and this is linked as well so anything you add on this will affect this so in here we firstly gonna create like those reverse effects as a promise so for that we're gonna use twister if you don't know this is really cool of a plugin to create like slow moves and reverse so we're gonna use this you can even like use time ramp but i prefer this right here so i'm gonna go over to wait like where these two like cuts off so i'm gonna go over here and hit the stopwatch in the speed and make it like minus 30 first so minus 30 so it like goes into reverse in slow mo so if i show you like that it goes into reverse then it slowly goes into full reverse now so around like minus 100 right where you want transition and then you can just bring up the amount to 1000 so around like 1000 to 2000 anything you like looks cool for you uh you can even bring this closer so something like this as you can see looks really hard right there then you can let it happen for a few frames and just trim it then just remove the twister from it so it gets back your original clip maybe i'll do it a little late like this sorry if it sounds too complicated i know it is you know how after effects goes right so basically we're gonna do something like this i guess doing this way looks a little smoother you can play around with the keyframe more if you like so as you first like this you can even go to graph by easy easy and just make a graph like this so it like slowly goes into that so that right there you can see the fast forward effect and goes back into our clip and then right here we can do it one more time so let's just copy this twixter right here and place it right here again and we can make it a little shorter this time and go a bit further again and just like remove the twixter around where our second clip starts so around like here so your footage basically turns like this goes into like fast forward and comes back so something like that however you like i use twixter to make it a little smoother but you can just use the time ramp option but now if i go into my master comp which the reverse effects are in and if i play through you can see we have the reverse going on this is exactly what we need 
So this is perfect right here. I'm going to go back and confirm this. So it doesn't disappear. So after that, you can just export this one as well. So we're going to call it Drift Voice and just re render it. Then after the export is done, just open up the file browser and locate your and just import it onto your like and you can just impose the first one in here with, which is the clean period right here without any like reverse and stuff and the second one is reverse. So you can see at the top we have the reverse and at the bottom we don't. So that exactly what we want. So uh, enable the reverse for now. And right where it like reverses, you can just trim it to that part. So right over here, so something like this. So it like reverse like that, as you can see. It looks really cool right there. And the same thing right here as well. So I'm gonna like trim it right over here. Then it again goes back around like here. So trim it like here. Now you can see we also have the reverse onto our effect. Looks really hard. But one thing it is really missing is a really good flicker. So as it goes, you can add like a flicker on the reverse one to like give it the intensity that we want or so something like this. Then you can use a simple adjustment layer and trim it to one frame and just add exposure in it and just bring it up. So act like a one framer going into like the reverse. So you can do the same thing right here as well. Add it right here and same thing right here. Double kit and add it right here as well now if i play through we have this like cool like reverse effect right there so yeah that's how you create this like vhs effect using vhs cam so if you want to download the plugin the link will be in the description really dope i will highly recommend it one of my favorite plugin for sure by fred pelle and you can even use a code assume to get five dollar off so yeah if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also follow me on instagram do all that good stuff subscribe to channel as well and i'ma see you on the next one peace